together. <laughs> I don't know, maybe their faces on the website. Yeah, It's a big day here at the State House for the Liberty Alliance, March 5th, 2008. The Full House is taking up many an interesting bill today, and we're here to observe. Okay. Governor Lynch will be taking an impromptu meeting with Real ID activists. Oh, you're welcome. Hi, how are you doing? Im impromptu thing. Okay, we're we're here. We're primarily members of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. Okay. Are we with us at all? Yes, I am. Yeah. Go ahead and have a seat okay. if you want. The, the thing that we were concerned about, and I know you had sent a letter, is the real ID. Mm -hmm. Okay, that we, many of us worked real hard on last year, and we really appreciate your support in, mm -hmm. in signing the bill. Our concern was the mandate that came from Homeland Security requiring the governors to sign for an extension. And we were hoping to encourage you to not do that because we already have a lot of New Hampshire yep. said that we've opted out of that. So. Well, can I ask, first of all, where are you all from? What parts of New Hampshire are you from? Manchester, Manchester, Manchester Portsmouth, Mason, Mason. Merrimack, Lear Mason, Mason, Rochester, Rochester, Barrington, Goffstown, Barrington, King, King. King. Portsmouth again. Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Okay, great. So we're shorter from all over. Okay. okay. Well, um, as you know, we have a law, um, which I supported, um, and really there was bipartisan support, and I'm sure, um, you know, you all are very supportive as well, prohibiting New Hampshire from participating in real ID. Um, as we thought about the reasons why not to participate, it was, there, there were several for New Hampshire um, that were mentioned. Um, one had to do with the cost of being an unfunded mandate, and the state not willing to or not able to pay for the cost of implementing Real ID here in New Hampshire. Second, and by the way, that was that ended up being a major reason why many other states opposed the implementation of Real ID. Second, and this was very important for all of us in New Hampshire, which I'm sure is important to you all as well, had to do with the privacy issue. Um, in fact, I'll tell you a story that happened at the National Governors Association meeting a couple weekends ago. And the third issue for many of us had to do with asking Department of Motor Vehicle Personnel to basically be part of Homeland Security. And we had a lot of reservations about asking them to do that. Um, you'll be interested to know that at a recent governor's meeting, um, this issue of real ID came up and there was a resolution put forth such that the governors voted that if in fact the federal government came up with the money fund real ID, um, that the governors would then go along with it. There were probably 36 governors in the room, and the vote was 35 to 1 to support that resolution. I was the only governor to vote against it. Because I tried to explain to the other governors that for us in New Hampshire, it's more than just a financial issue. It has to do with privacy. So even if they were to give us a lot of money, we'd still say we still have problems with real ID because of the privacy issue. And as you know, we didn't accept the money that they wanted to give us last time to be part of a pilot program because, again, we would have had to share that data with other states. Again, that was a privacy issue as well. So. We're, um, I, I think we're all on the same side. Um, I did send a letter, um, but I didn't ask for an extension. I asked that their regulations not apply to New Hampshire. So it was different than requesting an extension. Um, I do know that there are other states who are supportive of our position. Montana is one, South Carolina, and there may be others. Um, but at this point, I think most governors are against the implementation of real ID. Isn't it more than, than just privacy, though, sir, and money? I mean, it, it's about independence. Yeah, absolutely. No, I agree. It, independence. That was something that, that, that seemed to be missing from mm -hmm. this whole message. Mm -hmm. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay. Uh, just, is it safe to assume that uh, you won't be corresponding with Homeland Security again 
before the March 11th deadline? Um, I, I can't say whether okay. I will or not. Okay, uh, but you won't but be asking for an extension. Is we have not asked for an extension. Okay. Um, but we, and it's May 11th. Mm -hmm. um, that's the date. Oh, May 11th, I'm yeah, sorry. May 11th. Okay. And, you know, my, my understanding is that the timetable has all been pushed out, which you may already know. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're pushing everything out by 10 years now. Mm -hmm. And I suspect there'll even be more changes to you know, the regulations around real ID going forward. Can I ask what the motivation for spending any time or effort on this issue is? Well, the issue comes up, so you have to be able to respond. I, it seems it was, like we're bringing it up as opposed to them bringing it up. We've already decided we're not participating. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm curious why you're, you're actually pursuing the issue with shut off. Well, first of all, it came up in a meeting I was at with the other governors. So I was part of a discussion where we had a number of issues um, which we were discussing, and one of which was real ID. And as I mentioned, I voted against the resolution, which was that the governors would reconsider their position if, in fact, the federal government gave them a lot of money. And I was very clear that for us in New Hampshire, it was more than just a financial issue. Um, at the same time, I want to make sure that, which is why I have asked, that the regulations not apply to us in New Hampshire, as opposed to an extension, because you know, I, want, I don't want our people here in New Hampshire to be disenfranchised by a regulation that we don't think makes sense, which is why I've asked that it not apply to New Hampshire. Um, I have to get back into a meeting. I have some people waiting for me. But thank you all very much for thank coming. You, thank, thank you, Governor. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Got it. Just, we, we all signed this. Okay, uh, great. Yeah. Well, thank you all. I hope you enjoy your stay in New Hampshire, in uh, State House here. <laughs> <laughs> we like our stay. <laughs> 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 okay, thanks again for your You want a high floor? Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. Well, thanks again okay. for meeting with us and uh, your support. Okay, you're welcome. Bye. Oh, I see. 